brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. I responded to the auditor's uh, report. I sent her a memo, and my first uh, reaction was I was not surprised. Grossly mismanaged and not accounted for, those were some of the words to describe the findings of an audit of the funds of the Guam Office of Veterans Affairs released last month. And while these words may not have surprised Brigadier General Roderick Leon Guerrero, it has, however, sparked a need for change at the Guam VA. I, th I think with the reduction of personnel or the lack of personnel in, in, the, uh, in the Veterans Affairs Office, and then they are not properly trained, it created that environment. And so I, I just think through time, uh, individuals uh, were in, a, in an environment that that created an atmosphere to that uh, set them up for failure. And so, again, we, we, we've taken corrective action, and, and uh, uh, I'm confident that we won't have these issues uh, in the future. The Adjutant General of the Guam National Guard was appointed in May to oversee the Guam VA following the resignation of Administrator Martin Manglonia. He is currently working with current Administrator Jose San Augustine to address some of the problems found in the audit. The younger Earl says many of the problems stem from poor record keeping and poor accountability. He has since brought in some extra hands to help train staff on how to do their jobs. We have staff from Department of Military Affairs uh, training and helping staff with the Veterans Affairs uh, because that's there's lack of knowledge, expertise. And Leon so Guerrero serves as the director of the Department of Military, military Affairs. Affairs. It's the first step in a larger plan to incorporate the two entities. The reason why we're headed down this direction is we have a, we're working to, and I've said this a couple of times, to consolidate uh, Veterans Affairs under Department of, with Department of Military Affairs. And, and the reason why is, is that DMA has, has resources that can help uh, Veterans Affairs, and so consolidating them would 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 better help the uh, the veterans. He says the assistance of the DMA has already shown good signs as they've helped decrease a nearly thirteen thousand dollar water bill at the Veteran Cemetery. The pipes uh, needed to to change, so we changed the pipes. Uh, that was going to cost Government of Guam. Uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars, but because we did it in-house with Department of Military Affairs and Veterans Affairs, it cost only 10, uh, I think it's like $20,000, and now our water bill is down to $200 a month. And He's so currently working with the administration on a bill which is currently in its third draft form. Because of budgetary reasons, they hope for implementation in fiscal year 2018. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.